We're here today to talk about something really, really special. You might remember that Julian Church and I, at the beginning of the football season, us and some other people from the Fulham family, we walked from Fulham to Reading and we raised nearly, or just over actually, we raised just over £10,000 for a fantastic charity, the Campaign Against Living Miserably, Calm. And we're going to try and reduce male suicide. But now we are going further. We're going an amazing 113 miles. We're going from Craven Cottage to St Andrews, and we're going to tell you all about it and how you can help us. It's the church. Day one, Thursday morning, probably about a nine o'clock start. Start off at the home of English football, the cottage. The spiritual home. <laughs> we're there. We're starting off there. First day, we're trying to get up towards Dunstable. Now, we need some help in Dunstable. We're looking for somewhere to stay overnight. There's probably five double rooms. There's ten of us in there. If you can help us out with that, we'd be delighted. From now, Dunstable, big day, day two, Daventry. Right in the middle of the country there. Big, longest day of our actual walk, Friday night, Daventry. We're struggling with Daventry. Daventry is where we need to get some help. If you've got a nice big country house and you don't mind 10 slightly probably sweaty, smelly fellas turning up, That'd be nice. I think we're going to be overwhelmed with offers, okay? So we are walking over a marathon in leg one. We're going to do that on Thursday. On Friday, the bigger leg, we're going from Dunstable to Daventry. So the great and good, you people in Daventry, I want to hear from owners of hotels. I want the PR guys from hotel chains. Someone who's on Airbnb and has got a fantastic place where five suffering, or sorry, ten suffering football fans could be looked after. If you want to put a few beers on the table, maybe a game of pool, that'd be brilliant as well. But we need to go to work the next day because we're still going to be raising money for this charity. And on the Saturday, we're going to go from Daventry to Solihull, which is putting us right in the Birmingham catchment area. And guess what, guys? Fulham are in the playoff spot. So we're trying to coincide this walk, maybe with a trip to Wembley, or even better, second place, and straight back up to the Premier League, where we really should be. So, the last leg will be on the Sunday match day. We're going to finish it off with a 10k, a six mile stroll, and everyone is welcome to join us on the way to St Andrews. This video is going to give you a link to our fundraising page. We're going to show you all about the charity. We're going to tell you what Calm do. Myself, myself and Julian are going to be working and meeting with the charity. We're going to be working with Fulham Football Club to bring this to life even more. But without your support, without sharing this, without some pledges, we can't do it. So. It's 113 miles from Craven Cottage to St Andrews. Last away game of the season. Over to you, Julian Church. We need your help, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need your help. We've got one or two people, thanks to our already sponsors, Jason ECR Electrical. Thank you very much for your kind offer. What you've Thank done. you, Jason. The ladies at the end helping out, offering them getting somewhere near our feet to try and sort us out with that and the little foot massage. Thank you very much. I need your help in the middle here. We do. I've, I've already, people have reached out to me. We got some fantastic sponsors last time. I work with some be beautiful clients, some fantastic employers. I know you're going to get behind me. We really want to take this into my sector and into Julian sectors. We've got two Fulham fans from different businesses, different worlds combining. There's going to be another eight people walking with us. We just need to spread the word. So we'll show you more details soon. Thank you very much. Thanks.